Hey guys, World's Playground here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to download the UMD Dumper, new version, version 3.0, onto your uh, PSP Slim or Fat. Before you get started, please subscribe. I really, really, really would love it if you'd be able to subscribe. It's really easy. It's just a click of a button, and it actually helps us out. By subscribing, you can give me the opportunity to become a YouTube partner, which can help me make money and stuff like that. So please subscribe. And um, also, before you get started, uh, if you do not have version 5.0, um, custom firmware. Um, this this tutorial would probably still work for you, but I definitely recommend going to my video, which I'll have a link on this video, like at the moment, maybe even in between my fingers, right there. Go ahead and click on that link, and it will redirect you to my step one of three um, to get custom firmware. And that step one will show you how to get a Magic Memory Stick version 5.0, which will work perfectly for this tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, um, so the first thing I want to need you to do is to um, either go to my description or um, type in this website. It's www.phonicuk.com and then you go ahead and search it up or you can go to my description and click on the link. Then you just go to the first thing that comes up. Alright, so now that you're at the home page, just um, go ahead and look through the home page until you find the um, UMD Dumper 3.0. As you can see, it's right here. Then underneath the highlighted area, um, go ahead and click the link. And now scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page until you find the download section, which will show you a whole bunch of different languages. Pick the one that's yours, and seeing as how mine's English, I will go ahead and English. Then click Save. And you can save this anywhere you want, but I recommend saving it to your desktop, seeing as how it's easier to find. Now I'm changing the name, seeing as how I don't like that previous name, I'll change it to UMD Dumper 3. Um, seeing as how I'm running Hypercam in the background, you can see in the top left hand corner how it says Unregistered Hypercam 2. Um, it's taking my computer a little while to load this up, but with you guys it should just open up the window to load and then close right away because it should download very, very fast. Um, just got a few seconds left. Uh, Alright, there we go. Now you can exit that window and close the uh, search. And now um, go ahead and, and right click on UMD Dumper, what, you've d what you uh, downloaded, and then go to Extract All. I'm, I'm, that window pops up when I extract things. So, Alright, so now that your extracted folder is up, um, go ahead and right click on the UMD Dumper and then go to copy. There's only going to be one file in the folder so just copy the UMD Dumper file and then you'll go all the way over to your PSP. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to USB mode and connect to your computer using your USB cord. Then you'll need to go to open files so you're able to view all the files of your PSP then click PSP then click games or game and now this new folder will come up. This is where you right click paste. As you can see you're pasting the file which you just copied. Alright, so um, now you've finished all the tasks you'll need to complete on your computer. Moving on to the PSP. Alright, so now that you're done with the computer, go ahead and make your way over to the PSP. Now as you can see I got the PSP here. Now, where to go to actually find the UMD dumper? is you scroll all the way over to your games section and then you go ahead and click on memory stick and then you'll see UMD dumper go ahead and click on UMD dumper alright so now put whatever um, UMD you want to be uh, you want to put on your PSP into, this, into the uh, PSP I'm doing um, Ridge Racer because it is a small game and I don't have much memory I do recommend having a big memory stick because um, the games take up a lot of memory. So now as you can see I have no UMD in and the program has a big X on UMD. The reason why is because it cannot rec recognize any UMD disks because there's a one put in. So we'll go ahead and put in Ridge Racer. Alright. And now just wait a moment. And there you go. It's recognized the game and then it gives you all the information about the game. Now, what you really need to pay attention to is at the bottom. It tells you space required and space available. You need to make sure you have enough space 
to be able to download the game. Now this game is a small game, which is 864 megabytes. I've put in about five games that go up to 1500 megabytes, so make sure that you have enough before you actually do the download. Um, uh, so let's get started. Um, when you nor when you first open up UMD Dumper, uh, it says Read Me right there. Read Me. All right. You need to turn. You need to go uh, right and all the way till you reach Start Dumping. All right. Once you reach Start Dumping, go ahead and press X. And then at the bottom, you see a bar there. That bar. That bar tells you how much time it has until it's done. All right, it gives you a percentage. It tells you how many megabytes out of the total megabytes it's done downloading and all of that stuff. Um, and then at the top, it tells you your instructions. You hold down the left and right trigger plus triangle to cancel the dumping. You press circle to toggle whether or not you want to see the debug uh, stuff, which is that. And you go ahead and press select to start a mini game. A mini game is to be played when you're uh, bored from the download, which can take up to like 10 minutes. So then you can go ahead and play your little mini game, which is brick. All right, so um, I'm gonna get back to you once it's done downloading because you're not done just yet. All right, guys, once you're finished downloading the, um, the game, uh, a pop-up should come up saying that you've successfully finished the dumping. Go ahead and press circle and cancel that. Then what you need to do is while you're still on your UMD dumper, go ahead and take out your game. All right, make sure you take out your game. Then close it, and then press your home button, and then go ahead and, oh, sorry. Then go ahead and go back to your home screen. Just loading up here for a second. All right, now, it will redirect you back to your memory stick under games. Go ahead and press X, and then you'll see your game right there. If you did it properly, it should show up right where you're seeing it now. Now, by clicking on that, it would run your game, but um, it will not work because you need to change the setting, which I'll show you in a second. Um, go back to your home menu screen, like I am now, and go ahead and press select. Now, I know for a fact by pressing select, this menu will pop up, but if you do not have version 5.0, I'm not too sure if pressing select will work for you. If it doesn't, try holding down the left trigger and then pressing select, but I do recommend updating to version 5.0 using your magic memory stick. I did have the link in the video um, earlier, and I'll have it in the description as well. So, once, you sh once this menu screen pops up, you'll need to scroll down to, I think it's, wait, wait, yeah, to UMD, it's underneath the highlighted area, UMD ISO mode, which is UMD ISO mode, and it says M33 driver. That's what you want it to be at. I've already customized it that way, but before, it's at normal, which it's at right now. I just changed it. So as, as you see under the highlighted area, it says USD ISO mode normal. You need to go down. You need to go down and change that to M33 driver, which it's at right now. I don't know how well you can see that. M33 driver. And beside it, it says UMD ISO mode. All right, so change that to M33 driver, and then you go down to the bottom, and then you go to reset device. All right. So now it's resetting the device. And all that does is basically kind of refresh it. All right, so now you're back to your home screen. Go ahead and go to your game section, memory stick, and then click the game you've downloaded. And then it will load up and worked fine. And as you can see, my game is not in. Boop, boop, boop. And it is loading correctly. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. I hope I helps you guys out. Um, seeing as how I did you guys a favor, can you please do me a favor and subscribe? I'd really love it if you guys to subscribe and check out my other videos. I'm updating almost every day as fast as I can. Alright, so thanks for watching.